And why will he ask all of those things? Because he saw a sign. He was expecting your downfall. But he sees that you are rising. Are you listening to me? And because he saw you arising, they will change their mind. Listen to me. I prophesy upon this congregation and everyone hearing me in their house. The same way they change their mind about Paul on the island of Melitus. Men will see signs in your life and they will change their minds. Oh, I thought you would say louder, amen. I said they will change their mind. The soldiers, oh my God, look at what happened to Paul and Silas. The soldiers were asked to lock them up. You need to know how our soldiers treat people who have been condemned. They know that these ones are condemned, so they don't treat you like a human being in court. Do you understand what I'm saying? So there's a possibility that while Paul and Silas were going into the prison, there's a possibility that they slapped them. There's a possibility they spat on them like they did on Jesus. There's a possibility that they pushed them. When they wanted to lock their hands and their feet, they would have spoken to them really. But bring your hand. Do you understand what I'm saying? But the Bible says in the midst of their calamity, Paul and Silas lifted up their voice unto God. They praised God. They worshipped God. And while they praised, there was an earthquake. The prison doors were flung open. The chains and the fetters which they were bound with was loosed. Then all of a sudden the, the waters who brought them in in a rude way when they saw that all the prison doors were opened and they thought all the prisoners had escaped they knew that it was a death sentence for them and they took their sword and they wanted to kill themselves but Paul and Silas quickly say hey don't kill yourself we are still here we have not escaped and what happened the Bible says they knelt down and they said what shall we do be saved.